In this video, we're going to take a look at book widgets and show you how to create a brand new quiz using Microsoft Word, import it into book widgets, and create a dynamic, interactive quiz for your students. The first thing that we're going to do is head on over to bookwidgets.com and click on My Account. Inside of book widgets, you can choose a brand new widget. Today, we're going to be choosing the quiz. You can use the quiz widget to create your own quiz directly inside of book widgets, but today we're going to be importing this Microsoft Word document. Here we are in Microsoft Word, and it doesn't matter if we've created this online or natively on our desktop. The first thing that we want to do is we want to export a fresh copy onto our desktop. In order to do that, I'm going to click up on File, and then click on Save As, and then name it, and I'm going to save it to my desktop and click Save. Back in Book Widgets, I'm going to click on the top right where the gear icon is, and I'm going to drop down to Import from Document. And here you can see we can import both a docx format or a PDF. In this screen, Book Widgets has imported my doc. You can see that I've got all of my questions here, and I've got a nice, clear set of instructions. The first thing that I want to do is highlight a piece of text that I'd like to use as a question. And here it is. What is your name? If I click on that, it asks me what I want to do, and I'm going to select New Question. Now, what type of question is it? This is going to be a single line of text. The next question that we want to have is this one. What is your favorite type of ice cream? And I'm going to click on New Question. Now, what is that? That's going to be a multiple choice question with multiple answers. And now that we have these two questions, we want to figure out what are the answers to that multiple choice question. Here we have chocolate, and I'm going to say this is a multiple choice option. Vanilla, again, another multiple choice option. Or strawberry, again, another multiple choice option. Now I'm going to select this question here. My favorite type of ice cream sprinkles are, notice it doesn't quite go over, so I'm going to grab this entire question. I'm going to click on New, and this is going to be a fill-in-the-blanks question. I have all of the questions already done, and I'm going to click up here and click on Import. You notice that Book Widgets has brought in all three of my questions, but it does alert me that there is an issue with my third question here. In order to fix this, I'm going to click on the question. This is where we can adjust and even add additional questions to our quiz. You notice here it has our question, my favorite type of ice cream sprinkles are. And under text, we want to surround the words that we want to blank out. Notice here there's a format, two carats, the correct answer, and two carats again. Now for me, I know my favorite kind of ice cream sprinkles are chocolate. So I'm going to go carrot, carrot, C-H-O-C-O-L-A-T-E and carrot, carrot again. Now, I might want to make sure that my users know what one of the possible answers are. So under here, I've got a hint, and I can say chocolate or rainbow, because really, those are the two different kinds of sprinkles that are out there. I know th that there's more, but that's what we're going with right now. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Preview because I want to see exactly what Book Widgets has created. Notice here we have our questions in order. What is your name? And down here there's an arrow to go to the next question. What is your favorite type of ice cream? Of course the answer is chocolate. And then down here, what is my favorite type of ice cream? If I want, I can show the hint and I can type it in from here. Now I can hit submit. I can add my name, I can add my email, and that's how easy it is to take a Word doc, import it into book widgets, and make a great looking quiz. If you'd like to learn more about book widgets, check out all of this stuff over at teachercast.net, link is below, or head on over to bookwidgets.com for much more information and follow them on social media.